Do you smell that? That is the smell of fresh, wet, dripping butt hurt. Today, I am going to answer a very common question, and that question is, how can I keep my Boofwang UV5R from transmitting? I normally just tell people, keep your finger off of the trigger, and then it will never transmit. Radios don't transmit, people transmit. But some people like to give their radios to their kids to play with, and we all know that kids are not as well disciplined in radio safety. And there may be other valid, acceptable reasons why someone may want to block transmitting or prevent their UV5R from transmitting at all. Now, there are already a thousand, perhaps 2,000 other videos on YouTube explaining exactly how you can do this. But for some reason, people keep asking me how to prevent their UV5Rs from transmitting. I guess YouTube search must be down. Or maybe it's just that people prefer watching my videos because my videos provide the butt hurt to the people that need it the most. Besides, I have no life and I have nothing else to do today. First, allow me to show you how to lock the keypad. This will prevent you or your kids from pushing any buttons unintentionally and screwing things up. It's very simple to do. However, many people don't even know that you can do this. To lock the keypad so that you can't accidentally press buttons and screw it up, simply press and hold the little blue lock button. The radio will then lock and you'll see a little lock icon on the screen. Now if you press any buttons, all you get is the screw you tone. You can still adjust the volume and you can still press the trigger and transmit, but you can't screw anything up by pressing buttons. To unlock it, simply press and hold again. Unlock. It is now unlocked. I know that's not exactly what this video is about, but it's a little extra bonus that I decided to throw in. If you didn't already know about that option, leave a comment to let everybody know how helpful it was. If you already knew about this option, leave a comment and let us know how smart you are. And now on to our main feature, how to lock the trigger button to prevent anyone from transmitting. You can't make this change on the radio, so you will need a computer and the Chirp software and a cable. The Chirp software, Chirp, C-H-I-R-P, is free software and it works on Windows, Linux, and Mac. Although there are issues running it on the new Silicon Macs, I will put a link below in the information section to where you can download the Chirp software for free. You will also need a programming cable. Many people have trouble getting their computer to connect to the radio when they're trying to do this, and that is almost always a driver issue, a Windows driver issue with the cable that you're using. I've had trouble with many of the cheaper cables. This one has always worked. This is the famous Red Wuxen cable. It costs about $15, affiliate link below. So all you need to do is plug your cable into the radio, doesn't matter if the radio is on or off, and press firmly. And when you think you've pressed it firmly, Press it firmly again, because a lot of times these holes are very tight and it takes a little love to get it in just right. You then plug the other end into your computer, into the corresponding hole, thusly. You then fire up your Chirp software and it should look something like this. The first step will be to download whatever is in your radio into the computer so that you can manipulate it. To do that, we're going to hit radio, download from radio. We're going to select the model number or the brand and model from the extensive list. Make sure the COM port is right. It will usually auto select and you hit OK. It will then suck in all of the little digital ones and zeros so that you can see them on the screen. 
Now, the first thing you want to do before you get all excited is to save this file so that if you screw things up, you can revert back to a working state. So hit file, save, and save your file. Now this is not a whole how to use chirp video, but I am gonna show you a few things so that you know what you're looking at. These are the channel listings here that were in your radio. You can see here that channel zero is my hammy channel and channel one is uh, GMRS channel 16. There's two tabs over here, memories, which is what it's on now, and settings. You can switch between the two by tapping on them thusly. Now there are two ways that you can disable transmitting, either globally on the entire radio, which is what most people will want to do, or on a channel by channel only basis. I will show you the global option first, and then I will show you the channel by channel. So to block transmitting globally, hit the settings tab, tap on the other settings option, which is right here, and you'll see some options in the radio. This is where I put my custom butt herder power on message that shows up every time the radio turns on. But the options that we are looking for are right here. VHF TX enable, UHF TX enable. With that enabled, they will allow you to transmit or not transmit on VHF frequencies or UHF frequencies. Pro tip, don't mess with any settings if you don't know what they are. So you can see that we have VHF and UHF currently enabled, as you can see by the little check mark next to where it says enabled. So to disable that transmitting on VHF, I simply disable that. And to disable transmitting on UHF, disable that. You can do one, the other, or both, but to disable transmitting globally, you'll need to do both. We're not done yet. Allow me to show you quickly how you would do it if you want to go on a channel by channel basis. So with this setting, VHF and UHF transmitting is disabled. I'm going to quickly re-enable them. Let us pretend by using our imagination that we wanted to disable transmitting on this channel because this is a ham frequency and I do not have a ham radio operator's license. And we all know what would happen if I were to accidentally transmit on a ham radio frequency without a license. So to disable transmitting on this channel, but allowing any other channels to still transmit, I would just go into the duplex setting and select the off option. This will allow me to continue transmitting on this channel and any other channels that I have programmed. It would also allow me to continue transmitting on any frequencies that I typed in in VFO mode directly. But this channel, it would not allow me to transmit on. Now be aware that in Chirp, when you make that change, for example, that change, or this change, those changes have not yet taken effect on the radio. They are only in the memory of the computer. So once you make all of your changes, and you're sure that you've done it right, or at least mostly sure, you then have to write those changes onto the radio. To do that, go to the radio menu option and select Upload to Radio. Hit OK, and that will send your newly updated ones and zeros through that programming cable and into the radio. The radio will then reset, and all of those changes that you did over here on this are now here. So now if I try to transmit, I get nothing. You see that the little red light doesn't light up for any frequency because I disabled it globally. If I go into VFO mode and try to put a frequency in directly, still does not allow me to transmit. This radio is now effectively neutered. It is a scanner or receiver only. As you can see, it is a very simple procedure, but if you have any questions, leave a comment below so that somebody can come along and answer it wrong. Thank you.